Welcome, my fellow Primus. If anyone new tuning into the channel, this is your source for staying mentally, physically, and spiritually primed for any state. So with that, today we're going to be talking about are you goal or growth minded? Stay tuned and let's roll that intro. Knock that goal out, man. That was, mm, I beat him. Man, yes, yes, I beat him. Now I'm the best. Nobody can beat me. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the top now. Top dog, diggity dog. You feel me? I'm top dog. I'm number one. Yeah. That was good. I lost, but I got a little bit better. I, I noticed I'm a little bit. It's an inch better than before. So it's definitely, definitely getting better. Man, I'm, I'm appreciative of that, man. Getting better slowly but surely. One inch at a time, I'm getting there. And you know what? I'm better than I was before. And that's what matters. I'm growing, I'm going, and I'm... Yeah. Yes. When it comes to being goal or growth-minded, a goal is a specific point, Right? It's like someone who wants to make $100,000, right? They, they reach that point, but then what? And there's nothing wrong with goals, but goals are a subset to growth. Here's what I mean. When you're growth-minded, it doesn't matter what's happening, whether it's a loss, a win, both, whatever. You're focused on growing. And so everything that you do is centered around growing. And then when you have the growing, when you're growing... Now, that's a sub. Now you have goals for that growth. But when you have goal as your top pinnacle, when you reach that pinnacle, what do you do? And for most people, they just kind of stop. They're not growth minded, they're goal minded. They get that amount of money, now they stop hustling. They get to that body weight, they stop working out. They learn that information and then they stop chasing it. See, the key is being growth minded. When you're growth minded, nothing is a loss and you're always growing. No matter whether it's a loss or a win, you take them both and you apply them both. So when it comes to being goal growth minded, remember, you're first growth minded and then the goals are the subsets to the growth. So for me personally, staying primed for any state, mentally, physically, and spiritually, specifically, let's say physically, right? get into um, a weight that I want. I, I I know I want to be healthy, but see, that's the first goal is being healthy, growing. And now I implement the growth. I mean, the, um, the goal. So the goal might be 145 pounds, being able to do two backflips, being able to run up uh, a whole mountain that I previously couldn't before. You see what I mean? But if those were the goal, if those were the pinnacle, if those were what I was chasing, then when I reached the top of the mountain, when I hit 145, when I when I reached the goal, now what? Now what? Growth before goal. Are you goth? Are you goth? I guess I guess goth is goal and growth minded. Are you a goth, grow, goal minded person? I don't know where that came from, but we'll keep that. So, keep that in mind, guys, on your journey to staying primed. Are you goal or growth-minded? Until the next one, stay primed. And I'm also going to leave a video somewhere over here to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, the resources down below. If you want to join the tribe, support the cause, all that down below. My fellow Primer, stay primed, and I'll talk to you soon.